Welcome back to another episode of East Coast Bass Fishing. This evening we're gonna do a lucky tackle box. And a tackle warehouse unboxing all in one video. So guys bear with me and I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Right, guys, let's get right into it. First off, lucky tackle box. We're gonna open the box here. And yes, I did cheat. Open them already. I had to get a sneak peek and see what was in there. But you guys have to go over this every month when I get my box and kind of go over the uh, different lures and prices and everything like that. So first off, in your box, you get your LTV Lucky Talking box. Do you feel it's just about that time? It's that time. Fall bass fishing. Get your little car here. Got your sticker, which I love those. I'm gonna put this on my truck, maybe. Golden ticket. I haven't tried this out yet, but I need to try it. Hopefully, I win. Um, and then you have your card. What's in your box? So I'll just go right ahead and get right into it. I'm not gonna go down the list. I'm just gonna go based off what I see first. All right. First off, we have Rage Swimmers. Strike King, 3.75 inches. <clears throat> These right here will be good on like a swim jig uh, or a fish head spin or just a, a weighty uh, swim bait hook. And this retails for $5.49. And what color is this? Not quite sure. Check it out. So looking at this thing guys, the color is like a like a purple, it's kind of gray. It doesn't really have the specifics on the actual color in the back of this. But I'm sure it's gonna work out just fine. It's almost like a shag color, it's a darker color though. So get that out of the way. Then next up you have your yearling <clears throat> by Target's bait ball here. Diving depth is, here we go. Dive depth six to seven feet. It's pretty deep. You get to catch a fish on one of these. I've gotten one of these before. I had uh, mystery type blocks before in the past. And so, got another one here, so I'll definitely try that out. So, the price on that is <clears throat> $12.99. Pretty expensive. Hoping I'm losing it. Hooking up on a log or something like that. So, Castaic. Is the next bait up 22 four inch thread fin shad? Oh, there you go. Check that out. Got your little treble hooks there at the bottom. Can't wait to try that out. Next up, we have Mustad <clears throat> Feather Treble Hook. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put this on. Maybe I'll put it on a popper or something like that. Maybe on the back of one of my uh, MEPS number five or some kind of soft plastic. You never know. That retails at $3.99. And you got Mr. Twisters. And I love Mr. Twisters. The Carl's are actually pretty good. Uh, I had a video on them using those before. Uh, using the Carl's trailer on a jig. And this is the pocket. Venom. Let's go ahead and pick it out. See what it looks like. Oh, it's like a little finesse worm there. Probably put down a drop shot. I'll just test it real. And that retails at $3.79. Next up. Right bait. So this is a new bait. This is uh four dollars and twenty nine cents. This is a tantrum, new for twenty seventeen. Like a little small, small finesse jig. Check that out, guys. Pull this apart here. Got a little punch of just uh, flapping around. No, and it does say the top of this card. Surprise bait wins five hundred dollars. Price seven ninety nine. Post a pic with the surprise bait and hashtag LTB Hunter Hunt Fish for a chance to win five hundred dollars in cash. 
So that being said, the only bait that's left is not listed is the fish hound wake bait. Definitely like wake baits. I have some shallow running cranks that kind of would, I guess you could say they wake or they don't go that far below the surface, maybe two feet, six to eight inches, something like that. I'm definitely gonna give this thing a try and get that picture posted when I catch a fish and try to get that five hundred dollars. Now, last but not least, I have a little small sample of for a squeaky clean tush below the belt wipe. You never know what you're gonna run into out on the water. You might need to use the bathroom. You might have to tube so to speak this will come in handy I'm definitely going to keep that in my box and also we have on the bottom of the box fish hound magazine raid swimmer it tells you all about the different baits you have in your box and how to use them how to retrieve them how to rig them up it's definitely good information let's get everything back in the box here and then we're going to go get right into the Tackle Warehouse unboxing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Please excuse the mess. We've got games here. The kids would love to play games here. Let me fix my camera. There we go. Perfect. Now, didn't spend too much this time. Try not to go over too far over the $50. I don't like to spend too much with Unless I'm getting robbed with wheels. I don't spend too much on heart baits and wheels. Only $63.91 this time. So, I did get one of these here, <clears throat> Flambo, uh, Flambo for whatever I want to put in, always comes in handy. The one thing I have only caught one fish on my entire life, and that is a chatterbait. So, but I only had one chatterbait, so I had to kind of bulk up on chatterbait, so that's what I went and did. Got a bunch of Z-Man chatterbaits. This is the Z-Man Project Z. Three eighths ounce chatterbait. So, like I said before, these might come in handy. Chatterbait, swim jigs, stuff like that. Yeah, got another one here. Three eighths ounce. White Z-Man. Pearl Ghost. Previous one is the Breaking Brim. Then got another 3 8 ounce chatterbait. Chartreuse and Shad. Another one. 3 8 ounce. This one has a black blade on it. Versus the white ones with the other ones. And this is the dark green pumpkin. Definitely for staying water. Or water that's kind of not too dark. Maybe murky. Then one more Project Z. Pearl Ghost. You can't go wrong with that Pearl Ghost right there. So, then we got some trailers to go with it. We got some Bass Assassins here. Elite Shiner. Pearl. And these are four inches. We have a Bluegill Flash. Elite Shiner. One more here. And this is a, I can't pronounce this, H O U D I N E. D I N I. Elite Shiner. Just like the color, and I can't really pronounce how that goes, but you guys get the gist. So, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, uh, unboxings, and things of that nature. If you do, leave a like and comment down below. And that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.